So part two of uh, prepping your dough before you cut it. Um, after I mix my dough up, I bring it over here and I use the press and seal saran wrap, glad wrap actually. Um, I prefer press and seal because press and seal is easier to work with. It's not clingy like the saran wrap or cling wrap. Um, and I just divvy out and I tear a sheet of it off. And I divvy out my bowl. Normally I get two pats of dough and I'm gonna show you what that means in just a minute. And so I just pile some in the center and I just kind of work my dough. Because my cookie recipe is a soft sugar cookie. So you do not want to try to cut your dough straight from the mixing bowl if you're using my recipe. My recipe um, calls for a little bit more of a firmer dough so what i do is and that's why i call it pat of dough what i do is i divvy it up into two pats of dough and i place it in my freezer for about 30 to 45 minutes um as i'm getting my cookie cutters ready my stencils ready my cookies planned out things like that or you could leave it in there for weeks i mean i haven't left dough in my freezer for months because i'm constantly using it but I can make it ahead and I can put it in my freezer to, um, for it to firm up because you want to cut frozen cookie dough. You don't want to try to cut it um, at room temperature because you're just gonna have a blobby mess. So if you are using my recipe, you, your freezer is your friend, I promise. Um, so what I do is I put this in the freezer, let it freeze um, once it's hardened. Um, I do set it out on the counter for about 10 or 15 minutes before I start um, molding with it. And uh, you don't want it soft, but you want it to where you can break it off and kind of break it up and cause it's gonna warm up underneath your hand. Um, so you are able to work with the dough. So always, always, always start out with frozen dough and you're going to also end with frozen dough because if you're watching this video, you may not have all of my steps, but you do have this tip. I always bake my cookies from the frozen state. And what that means is that I cut frozen, I place on my cookie sheet, I put my cookie sheet over into my freezer, let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes with the, the cut cookies. And then I take my pan in a hot oven and I go ahead and I take my pan straight from the freezer and put it into the oven. I always bake my cookies from the frozen state. That is the number one key to the perfect cookie and the perfect shape. So I hope this helps you. Remember, this is Belle's Cookie Jar. If you want to find me on Facebook and Instagram, y'all have a blessed day.